Good morning, friends. You're watching Brainstorm Makers. I'm Henry, and I'm gonna go out and take care of the greenhouse this morning. Irene's busy doing some other garden planning right now. So, we'll take a quick walk. I'm a little late getting out to do this this morning. I fixed some breakfast. We've eaten, we've had a pretty good morning, but it's starting to get a little warm in the greenhouse. Now we have an awful lot of stuff on our homestead. A lot of stuff that's kind of hanging around. Part of it's inventory for when things go wrong and I need to fix something, but part of it's just stuff. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be taking advantage of that stuff and doing some new things. So, time to open up the greenhouse. We use some pieces of OSB and plywood, a couple of spring clamps, and a cinder block to hold this piece of plastic closed during the night because it gets a little cold. Temperatures got down into the upper 30s last night, which aren't a particular problem. But sometimes the weather doesn't behave exactly the way that we'd expect. Boy, I can feel the heat boiling out of the greenhouse. We roll a piece of greenhouse plastic up and then attach it to the top with some of these spring clamps. It does a good job and keeps the plastic from falling back down. Now Irene normally comes in and checks all the plant starts in the morning. She's leaving it up to me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Well, it's an all right idea because at least I know what they're supposed to look like. Peas are doing great. We'll probably plant them out in the next week or two. We're trying to give them a good start here in the greenhouse so that we can put them outside when they're grown up enough so that they'll be able to fight off all those insects and other kinds of things trying to damage them. The soil is plenty moist. I'm going to leave these for Irene to water later. I don't want to overwater. This lettuce that Irene planted several weeks ago is really coming along. The cabbage is going gangbusters. We have some very nice romaine growing. Swiss chard is going gangbusters. It's really coming along nicely. I love the color of the leaves. This Salanova is growing up like a Christmas tree. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like when it finally flowers. We want to see this just because. Something we can do. It's too bitter to eat now, but it's still fun to watch. You know, we have some really nice kohlrabi growing. I forgot how good it was. It's been several years since we've grown any and we tried it again this winter and it did well in the winter. It's doing even better now. The greens are delicious when we cook them and I really like that kind of tuber down at the bottom. Soil's moist enough here. Now these cabbages are doing all right but I think we'll probably end up harvesting them relatively soon and eating them when they're small. It's getting pretty warm in here. On the other hand, the bok choy is just doing really, really well. It's happy. 
so is the spinach. All in all, it's going really, really well. First thing we do in the morning, except this morning, I didn't do it in this order, is Irene will come in and she'll open up the veins on this cooler. So that when the fan turns on, we get a good breeze. Well, we get a good breeze even when the fan's not on because it blows through. Now yesterday, Irene attached this fan up here. I'm not supposed to climb ladders. She was home and she was willing to go ahead and put the screws in. So I've made this bracket, installed this new fan, and Irene installed it. The ladder's still here in case we need to get up there for any particular reason today. Both fans are on and blowing cool air into the greenhouse now. I'm gonna adjust this temperature down a little bit so that it's not blowing as much. Well, that's it for this morning for taking care of the greenhouse. Later on today, Irene will come out and she'll double check all of these plants to make sure there's enough water in them. As I said before, I don't want to overwater since she's been the one mostly taking care of, especially the pea plants. It's better if she comes out and deals with it. She'll be able to be out here in another hour or so, but I wanted to come out and open this up before it got too hot. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked what you saw and hit the bell for notifications. Stick around, we're always doing something interesting, sometimes fun, here on the Homestead. Thanks, have a great day, bye.